In this video, I'm going to show you how to add rows to your tables using the TR tag. These are critical creating tables. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where I help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, Let's head over to the screen capture and learn how to create table rows. I'll see you there. So on your screen, you see a fancy little HTML table on the right and the code for that table on the left. And each of these rows is a row, believe it or not. And that is defined in the code by an opening TR and a closing TR. Now in between those rows, we have our cells. So each of these rows in this table contains three cells and it creates three columns throughout the table. And those are defined between the table rows. So our very first row contains TH cells, which are table header cells, and that creates this very top row up here. We close off that TR, that table row, we open another TR, another table row, and we add three more cells, this time TD cells, which are just regular data cells. And these cells contain the data for the next row. And you can add as many rows as you want or have your, your code create as many rows as you want. And that's really all there is to a table row. It, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Once you built a few tables, it's going to be the easiest thing in the world. So that's all there is to creating table rows. As you can tell, they're critical to tables, but there's a lot of other critical stuff as well that I showed you. And I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right-hand side so you can learn more about coding. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.